these are are these railroad um things? I think they are. Yeah, I think those were I don't know what you call them. Not spikes, not railroad spikes, or the the the, the two by four thingies. Well they're bigger than two by fours. You know listen to what I mean, not what I say. Listen to what I mean, not what I say. I like trains, but I am not the most knowledgeable person about terminology and things. I'm just a fan. I just I'm a casual train fan, I guess. I'll still never forget the time I went into one of my local model train shops and the guy that ran the shop was an older guy and when I told him that my favorite type of train was a steam engine, oh, his eyes lit up like a Christmas tree. He couldn't believe it. He got all excited, got out one of the catalog books, started showing me all the different <laughs> steam engines and stuff. Hey, that was a that was a person back there. Are they moving? Huh. Normally you don't normally you don't see people unless they're at a station. That was kind of. There's that rumble sound again. What is that? It almost sounds like an air, com air compressor. Like when an air compressor is filling up air. That's what it almost sounds like. <laughs> I can just imagine being like a little squirrel on the ground. And the blare of the horn. <laughs> God, I'm so devious. I think I'm like, I'm goofy, but I'm also devious. <laughs> Maybe the ETA will be closer to like 9.45. Now we'll get there before then. Because we got less than 45 miles to go. Got the whole town loading in up here. Little house over here by itself. Weeks walk. What 
happens if I... Oh, that's the same thing. There's no... Because some cabs will have like multiple different camera angles inside. Others just have the left and the right. I do that to reset the camera. Because once I move around, I don't think there's a way to... Yeah, because if I just click on the view, it doesn't reset it. I have to... But like with this view, if I do this, all I gotta do is hit forward and it'll, well, maybe it'll do the same thing with this one. Nope, that zooms in and out. Nope, it's different. I want to live in the middle of nowhere and have, a, have my driveway be like that. Just like a mile long driveway that goes off in the distance. <laughs> And have like one of those underground suction tubes that like the bank has at the bank drive through and that would be like attached to my mailbox. So I could just have my mail put in the tube and like sucked up to the house <laughs> so I wouldn't have to walk like a mile down the driveway. Oh you know what? Either that or I could get a um uh what do they call them? Golf cart. Get a golf cart or a little scooter or something and take that down to the mailbox. <laughs> Yeah, I could get a golf cart. I could get one of those like I seen them advertised like one of those off-road type of golf carts. Those like like camouflage ones and stuff with the Do they have four-wheel drive? I don't know. Just I could get one of those. It's got the off-road tires and stuff on it and like take that down to the mailbox to get my meal. <laughs> I'd also get me some solar panels. I'd have like a solar, like a field of solar panels just for my house. Never lose power. So when it stormed and stuff, I wouldn't have to worry about it. Could have well water too have well water with a filter system and be pretty much off the grid have water have power what do I do about internet though I mean there is satellite internet but it's not that good for like what do they call it like the ping so like if you're playing an online game, it's not that good for that. Doing something like this, and just recording a video, it'd be fine. But if I wanted to play multiplayer of any kind, then... So many crossings, so little time. The frames! I'm gonna be so sad if we get to like within like a mile of the destination and the game crashes. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably get there closer to 9.30 than 9.45. farmer stuff over there.
It almost reminds me of, um, what are they called? Those like, they're like chickens, but they're like a whoopee cushion chicken thing. And like when you squeeze all the air out of them, they make like a, a long honk sound. <laughs> Every time I hit the horn, it's almost like I'm making the train do that. <laughs> I seen a video of someone, they put one of those bird things on their exhaust pipe. <laughs> and whenever, like they'd be just sitting, sitting there idling in park, but whenever they hit the accelerator, it just... <laughs> <laughs> Why am I yawning? You know, they say yawning is a sign of a lack of oxygen, but if that's true, how is it contagious? How is it contagious? If that's what it is. I don't believe it. You can't look at someone yawning and all of a sudden have a lack of oxygen yourself. <laughs> you know? It's gotta be something else. It's gotta be. Where's the, where's that park coming up that's like gonna go down to like 50? I know it exists. At least I'm pretty sure it does. Unless I'm confusing it with another route. I could have swore that... I could have swore... that that was on this one I don't know oh gosh hey quit yawning stop it stop it right now making my eyes all watery making my nose all stuffy You know, I can't help but wonder that if this country really wanted to do it, we could electrify every train route in the United States. If we if we really wanted to do it, we could do it. It would just take a lot of money and a lot of time. But it would create so many jobs, too. And now it's gone. Oh. It sounds like an air compressor. There's the 50. There it is. We're coming up on it now.
we are gonna need to Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh well that wasn't that bad. I thought that'd be a lot worse than it was. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. I thought that was going to be a lot worse than it was. Well, brakes are off. By the time we get back up to speed. Another crossing? Jeez. So many. Most of them have been dirt roads. Where's my power? There it is. Every time I get that Zelda song stuck in my head. I probably look like an airhead right now. <laughs> the way I was just there with my mouth open, like. I was like, what's that floating in the sky? But the tower hadn't been loaded in yet. What's the wiper button? It's not W. W's the reverse button. Found it! I know the X button's a sander button. B is for the bell. You know that's something I need to test sometime. I got a I got another Canadian Pacific train 
that um, for some reason the on the heads up display the little wiper button doesn't it doesn't do anything but I wonder if the wiper button itself will do something I sure do make for some odd entertainment. You know what this game needs? This game needs a more efficient way to create a train. Like when you create a consist. Because I'll be adding cars and I lose track of how many I've added. So I'll make little tally marks on, an, on a sticky note. It's, it sucks that you can't just like pick, alright, I want this box car and then like hit like a down arrow and like I want five of them or something and it just adds five of them or something. But no. No. Because that would make sense. that would make sense. And we don't live in a world that makes sense. So we have to spend part of our day figuring out why things are the way they are. We are kind of getting close. route I played, I don't remember what it was called or what DLC it was a part of, but there was a route I played where at the bottom of the, sc of the screen the little mini-map thing every time there was a crossing coming up it had a special icon with like almost like a little horn icon next to it it was so nice because I didn't have to constantly look down range if there was a crossing coming up I could just look at the thing see like it's coming up now telling me that there's a, there's a light or a switch or whatever you know, and it's like why you not put crossing there? You could do the same thing for that, and it'd be so nice. But no. That one route did it, though. You know, I've also noticed that not all the routes put the tunnels down. Some of them, they'll put like a gray wall is where the tunnel starts, but others, they don't. They don't do that. Why can't we all just like follow the same basic standards? even recording this at nighttime right now. <laughs> it's just one of those days. I'm just tired. What's that? 
Oh. A stack of railroad. I'm, I'm gonna look up what those are. What are railroad wooden pieces called? Railroad ties. Rectangular piece of wood within specified dimensions that are used to hold steel rails as part of a fixed distance of track. So we got railroad ties, railroad spikes, and then railroad tracks. Well, rare steel rails, the three components that make up a railroad track. Learn something new every day. Here's that sound again. That air compressor sound. Is the horn? Is the horn fed by air compressor? Let's get Google again. Let's see here. Are diesel horns on trains air compressors? I guess they are. I mean, I guess it would make sense that they are. Yeah, train horns are operated by compressed air. Wow, 125 to 140 PSI. And fed from the locomotive main reservoir. Well, I, I know the steam train, they're air. They're, they're fed by the steam. But I didn't know if on a diesel train that they were the same. Cause... Cause I didn't think... Uh, I didn't think the car horns... I know semi-truck horns are air, but... I didn't, it never crossed my mind that train horns were air compressed. I thought they were just electronic sound. Hmm. Okay. Man, I kind of wish I had a clicker. We've went through so many crossings. Can't even find it. This is like the Battle of the Horns. For a split second, I thought that dark at the part at the top of the tracks was another train coming. I was about to poop myself. <laughs> like a train, because I, I turned off the NPC trains. I did have that happen once though, when I forgot to turn that off and like I just had a train going and I like went to the bathroom I think, came back in and apparently a train was leaving the siding. Or yeah. It was like, no, what was it doing? It was going slow. It was either, oh I know what it was. I think, I think it was getting ready to go into the siding and it was my duty to stop because otherwise we were going to hit until it got into the siding. But since I left and came back, obviously that didn't happen. And the NPC is too stupid and it was just going to um, do its thing. And I ended up having a collision with the train head on. <laughs> it was kind of funny.